Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very special announcement to make. I have made a discovery that is earth shattering and probably be the most important discovery in human history. Now, people that know me knows that I don't boast I don't brag, I'm just being sincere. Now the ancient Indians observed the skies for millennia and they knew about two bodies in the sky that crossed paths with the moon and the sun. And they called these bodies Rahu and Ketu. And of course, they were flat earthers. They believed the earth was a level plane and it was stationary. And then the moronic Greeks came on the scene and screwed everything up. Also, when the sun is uh, on or near the Tropic of Capricorn, and you are observing the sun from the northern hemis plane, then you would see these two bodies and the heliocentrists call them transit of Mercury and Venus. But in fact, it's these two bodies that are transfixed against the, uh, the sun's silhouette. This diagram on the screen is kind of deceptive because they use the heliocentric model where the moon and the the two bodies go around the earth when in fact they are within the earth. The video footage I will be using is from Her Majesty's Australian Government Antarctic Division and it's a time, la time lapse footage from the 8th of July 2020 till the 10th of July 2020 and on screen you can see the moon here and it's 11.30 a.m. so the moon is going across the sky from right to left and it disappears and the sun is up you, you can see it's clearly light you can see the sunlight and you can see the sun here part of it at uh, around 2.33 p.m. and don't forget the sun is far north it is over the Tropic of Cancer uh, at this time in July and it gets dark around 5 p.m. and nothing much much, much happens uh, you know it's probably all asleep and then around 7 p.m. you see this this body come across the screen again from right to left and uh, you can see it's it's kind of a a small dot that's because it's further away from the moon we just saw and again it's it's going away from us and dis then disappears and throughout the night nothing much happens you know there's uh, lights going on and off people milling about then going to sleep or wh whatever else they do during the night and i'm just going to let the video play unless People call me, you know, tell me that I've doctored with the, with the footage. And, in, and now it's continuously playing. And around, uh, let's have a look, around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9 a.m. on the following day, 9th of July, you see the body, uh, 12 hours later, you see another body coming across the screen from right to left 
and again it disappears and then uh, just after 10 you see the moon coming across again appearing from right to left and, and disappears and then in the afternoon you see the sun um, just after 2.30 p.m. and again gets dark around 5, 5 p.m. and uh, just after 7 p.m. you see the 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 other body uh, appear on the screen again it's going from top right to bottom left it's going across the sky and disappears at 9th of July night time again nothing much happens um, lights go on and off people probably sleeping drinking or whatever else they do here at Casey station and time passes by then at after 8 a.m. there you go uh, well actually 9 a.m. you see the the mysterious body appear again uh, on the screen again going from right to left and there you go disappears to bottom left and this proves that there are two bodies 12 hours apart appearing in the sky and these are definitely Rahu and Ketu the what the Indians called Rahu and Ketu and these bodies cause solar eclipses and the transit of Mercury and Venus. This is an earth shattering discovery. I deserve the fucking Nobel Prize and a million, a million bucks thrown in. Thanks very much.